this is an Infinity Q60. And that's what's in the garage today. So I don't know how much you know about Infinities, but I found out a lot lately. And you know what, we're gonna start it off with this. Infinity is built by Nissan. And that being said, this car, which used to be the G37, is now the Infinity Q60. They changed over a lot of the names in 2015 and 14 to be different names. Now this is a 2014 right here, the first year of the Q60. And if you really want the breakdown, their different cars are all Qs and then their SUVs are all QX. Now that means there is a Q60 and a QX60. So it's kind of confusing. I'm not sure why they did it, but they did it. So you live with it and you move on. So now that we got the names right, it is built on a Nissan 370Z platform. So it's the same suspension and drivetrain and engine as that, which happens to be the 3.7 liter V6 engine. But this car is a little heavier, and then with the convertible top, it makes it even heavier. So yes, that is a hard top convertible. Now why do I care about that? Because I've had the privilege of driving a G37 and taking it on a road trip and I fell in love with these cars. Now, I'm not a convertible fan. I've never been, especially soft tops, but now that I've found these hard top convertibles and the quality of them nowadays, I am completely and absolutely in love with them. I want this car. I'm going to tell you right now, I wanna get this car. Now, I don't know, and I'm researching right now to find out if in 2019 they're making a G60 convertible. I can't find one. Maybe let me know in the comment section below if you know of them, but I haven't found one yet. Even at a 2014, this car, with about 60,000 miles, comes in at around a $20,000 range, which brand new was a $50,000 car. You know what? When you're in southern Louisiana on the bayous and it's hot and everything, I absolutely love a hardtop convertible. It's also rear wheel drive and it kind of is kind of thirsty on the gas a little bit because it averages about 18, 19 miles per gallon. So we're going to run it down and see what this Nissan Infinity can do. Starting the route guidance to your destination. Hey, it's starting route guidance to my destination. So we're just going to take this out for a quick test drive to see how it drives, how it handles, if it feels anything like a 350C. And also to see how the wind handles with the roof down. It's about 85 degrees today in Lafayette, Louisiana. That's the cloud cover. It's actually pretty good weather for having a convertible. No sun baking down on you, no hot seats. Now I do have the AC uh, cooled seats on right now, which is absolutely wonderful. But let's see what this thing sounds like with the top up. Can anybody tell me in the comment section below what's the fastest hard top convertible? What's the fastest one on the market? I want to know. stylings of these cars they're smooth they're sleek they're different looking than all of the cars on the market I love the stock rims that come with it they are fantastic <clears throat> and I am not exactly exuberant about the fact that a lot of Nissan parts from the 350z came into this body style or came into the interior of this body and you'll see some of those and it kind of lowers the this is supposed to be the premium brand for Nissan Infinity, and yet some of the parts came from the lower end brand, so therefore it lessens the separation and makes it a little less special. Now, like the 350Z, it also has an okay tone to it when you step on the gas. It's not the greatest sound in the world. It's not going to scare anybody away. It's not Corvette power. It's not any of that stuff. It's just a V6. And for the most part, you'll just look really cool doing whatever it is you're doing, cruising around. And I'm pretty sure your friends are going to want to ride with you. 
So in the comment section below, go ahead and let me know what you think of this 2014 Infiniti Q60 convertible. I like it, we like it, it's a fun car. So what cool cars do you have? Because we want to know about it. And go ahead and tell us in the comment section below or, or send us a message on the Facebook group or however you want to contact us and let us know what kind of vehicle you have in your garage because we want to show it on the Bayou Garage and you can have your own episode. So hit us up. Looking forward to seeing what's in your garage. But I didn't do that right, so let me ask you. What's in your garage?